Hi, I'm Jie Li. I'm very happy to talk about my new film called The Warlord. You can watch it here right now. The Warlords is available now on demand. I think that what attracted to me, other than the story of the assassination of Ma itself, was the fact that any of the older version, whether it be in a play or film, has never really stressed and emphasized its war-torn China back in the mid 1800s. Jet Li plays a very interesting character that most people could relate to. He plays a man who has a vision and who has a goal and an ambition for the betterment of humanity. And、um, in the process of achieving that, you have to make undertaking dealings that would enable you to grab more and more power. <laughs> A blood oath in Chinese blood oath is almost like a marriage vows in a way, but it's 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 very macho. It's really between men and men. And the one that really strongly proposed and wanted the vow was Zhang Wenxiang, because he's totally in love with the ideals of both Chao and eventually the ideals of Pan. The character Annie played is very straightforward, very simple-minded, and he only believes in what he sees. He was enamored and he was attracted to Pang Qingyun's ambition for the people. So, in a way, Jet Li became his idol, and he completely was influenced by him. 打仗抢东西才会杀人，现在才明白，心变好也要杀人。War is a bad thing, and when people ask me, there is a strong anti-war message in this film, even though this war is irrelevant to what's going on today. But a war is a war is a war. It will push the worst side of human character. Jet Li, Andy Lau, and Takeshi Kaneshiro are the warlords. Watch it now on demand.